What's up you guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going in 7.3.2, and we're going on a path where it has... Which path is it? Uh, impatience? Um, shape or faith? Um, and prey on the feedable and also buffed up. Um, and like I've been saying uh, for the past two videos that, um, that there's a quest in Act 7, which is really, really good for Hyperion, and this is the quest. Um, let's see here, I'm just trying to find... Or check to see if, um, <coughs> if, uh, if I'm able to get any, um, health boost. Let's see here, loyalty. No health. All right, that's fine. But this path is great for Hyperion because with the impatience, it's saying whenever a cosmic attacker fails to trigger a buff due to chance, they have a 100% chance of triggering a fury buff. Um, and with Hyperion's parrying heavy mechanic, and he only gains furies with his heavy, and it's not a guaranteed uh, guaranteed win that you're gonna go and gain that fury buff. He is perfect for this path. Literally the best for this path. Now I don't know what other cosmic champions are great for this path, but um honestly the best champion for this path is definitely Hyperion. Knock you down. Just waiting. Oh so as you can see, the prowess is stacking up, and we don't want to get hit by a special attack, and that probably may not happen, that we may get hit by a special attack because of parry and dexterity not really working. Nice. So I give it the SP3, he's gonna be patient, wait till he gets- Oh my god, what did you know it? Ha 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 ha. Why didn't you know it? Literally just like what I said. Nice! Eleven Furies. Oh, I did not want to do that. I mean, <laughs> the incinerates are doing well. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Because he was not throwing that L2. Who was not throwing that L1? God almighty, I, I hate when the eyes don't want to throw a special attack and just want to throw a different one that's almost, that's pretty difficult to dodge. Um, but as you can see, Hyperion is really good for this path. Literally just parry, heavy, gain those furies, and it's a guarantee. And I wish Hyperion was like this, because it would make him, in my opinion, a heck of a lot better damage-wise as you're seeing him right now. that, that's fine, and you don't even need the L3, 31k, and all that we have right now is literally, <laughs> all that we literally have right now for synergies is crit synergy, but even if you just continue parrying and heavying, <coughs> that, that wouldn't bother you at all, now, during this path, the hardest um, one of the most pretty difficult fights was um, definitely Hulkbuster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate and attack, attack and help this uh, up here. Um, and the reason why Hulkbuster is pretty tricky is because with a shock debuff, um, so I just got to pay very close attention to that. Harry, heavy. 
Heavy again. Here's the shock. Two. Double medium. Nope, I don't understand why you did not go for a parry right then and there. That's fine. I hit double heavy again. For it. Double medium. Pretty into an F2. One hit. Waiting for the parry. There we go. <coughs> Knock it down for the concussion. I can parry again. Doesn't matter to me. He's waiting. There we go. Double medium. Straight into SP2. There we go. That don't matter. <sighs> Literally, this path. I had to do it a couple, redo it a couple of times. Um, <laughs> reason being, I know I could do it without using revives. Um, no, 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 no. Why is auto fight on? Now, this is also a pretty tricky fight. Um,. So, I'm able to parry when he has reflective armor, but when he has armor, do not parry. Now, this is the reason why it's a tricky fight. Now we just wait it out. Gorgeous. Oh my god, I could have. Beautiful. Heavy countered. That's what I was waiting for. I need that reflective armor on him. That's the issue. Once I get that reflective armor, we're. Oh! Yeah, we're gonna hold block. That's fine. Oh, come on! Oh, of course he's gonna throw that L1. So dumb. Such a dumb L1. Oh my god. All good, though. Ugh, that's a stupid L1. Now he wants to throw L1s when I'm shielding. That's so dumb. AI is an MCOC. Does not want to run into parries. Don't want to do anything else. Alright. Alright. Please do something good. Gorgeous. Beautiful. I actually could have done something. There we go. Beautiful. I could have played that a heck of a lot better so I didn't have to use a revive. <laughs> but that's all good. Literally, this, all, this is what I literally had to do for the entirety of the quest. And just look at the damage that he's doing. Like, I know that Hercules is literally the best cosmic champion, but for this path... Haha, <laughs> Hyperion literally takes that spot. Just look at that damage. Uh, we we gotta have we've been having a lot of stun locks lately. Been having a lot of stun locks lately, huh? <laughs> Guys, this is the final fight of the path. <clears throat> Let's see if Hyperion's able to do it, because I know how Emma Frost is. 
Luigi is a very tricky opponent to fight. So what we do want to do here... Come on, intercept. Oh, wow. What we do want to do here... Just throw this special. Try to get that... Hopefully get the sun. And now we're looking good. Alright, come on now. No. Beautiful. Now we just have to hope that she's gonna throw L1s now. 55%, looking good. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, nice. Who needs L1? Oh my god, I mistimed it! Oh my god! This is why I hate Emma Frost. <laughs> oh, she's a very tricky champion to fight. But, as you can see, Hyperion is one of the best options for this path. Truth is going to be a little hiccups here and there. Uh, my two difficult, my three difficult opponents in this path. Well, Hulkbuster's not really pretty, is not really difficult because um, the only thing that's really affecting you is the shock damage. But the only two difficult champs on this path is um, Black Panther and also Emma Frost. But other than that, Hyperion 100% is one of the best options for these for the, uh, these two paths. For Emma Frost, I went with uh, what you call it? What did I use for Emma Frost? I used Captain Marvel for the Emma Frost. Because Emma Frost, what? Because Captain Marvel has a high, uh, has a better chance of getting over breaks during like regular basic combos. Um, so Captain Marvel with the Nick Fury synergy to make the fight go quicker is like the best option. Also, if you stack up those concussions, um, and then go into binary, you are guaranteed to you're basically guaranteed to go get Fury Boss as well. Um, and also for the Black Panther fight, I also <clears throat> I also you I think I use Silver Surfer or um. It was either Silver Surfer or Captain Marvel, but if you play Hyperion in the right, uh, in, uh, in a very safe way and play him <coughs> very carefully, you're able to go and take out those two tricky champions with ease. But even for me today, those two champions are pretty tricky uh, for me to fight. But all in all, I very, I actually had, I had fun even if I had to use some items. But you are able to do do this fight itemless with Hyperion if you're fully boosted. But you are. Uh, but depending on your mastery setup, you will have to use, um, or how or how Hyperion's RNG is, um, you may have to use heals, or if you want to go and dash back after using the SP3, and then you're able to block, then you're able to heal up on your own, and that's fine as well, and then you'll most likely not have to use any items. Um, I don't really use that piece of utility, because sometimes for me, it just uh, I just don't really know how to use it, and it just messes me up sometimes when I have three of the... Um, what what well um let's just um what, what's it called um of oh, the cosmic healing <clears throat> it, it doesn't really work it i don't know why it just doesn't show it it's just regen up i don't know if that's a bug or if that happens in general but honestly i really don't care <laughs> but um overall hyperion is able to solve this path um on its own so Thank you guys for watching. I really, really, really had fun with this path. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back on the next video.